a completely PC-free method to recover your device. In this video tutorial, we'll explain step by step how to recover your device without needing a PC or anything like that. We'll use a very easy and quick method. As you can see, our device had a screen lock, and what we did was format it, reset it, after our device completely reset. It was left with this interface. As you can see, accessibility appears here. Previously, when accessibility appeared, it meant our device was fully unlocked and we could access it. But these devices, with these latest updates, have evolved. And now when accessibility appears, our device is still completely locked. Still with the Google account, and now with the same screen lock it had from the beginning. Previously, we could access it by drawing an L upwards on the tablet, and from there we could activate voice dictation and access some settings. In the settings menu or the browser, and recover our device directly from there, but these functions are no longer working. For those of you for whom these methods no longer work, pay close attention because in this video tutorial we are going to explain step by step how you can recover your device without using a PC. A completely PC free method, as we can see here on the left. At the top, we have that padlock. When we see that padlock, it means our device is still completely locked. With all that said, let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. Another thing I also want to mention is that in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we have another completely different method. Updated methods both with and without a PC. Let's go to, to begin. We're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network to start the recovery process. We're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Okay, let's go through the process and we'll get to where we see the screen lock and the Google account. The forgotten Gmail account for those of you who regularly watch our video tutorials, we recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any details and can solve and recover your device. First of all, we also want to let you know that YouTube has enabled the YouTube members community session where people can join. The benefit is that we'll be posting videos in advance and answering any comments or questions you have about your device. We'll be responding to them. This will take us directly to where we see the screen lock. Here we can see a pin. Here where it says, use my Google account. To click. This will take us to this section. For those who know what a Google account is, you'll enter. Your account information. After entering your account information, you'll click next and then it will take you directly to where it asks for your password. After you enter that password, this would give access to those who might not know their password. It tells us that if we don't have the email, we can use a phone number. That's also an alternative. If you don't have the email, you can add the number. 
Having said all this, to enable a function that will work for us, we'll click here. It says, forget Gmail. We'll click here and write anything here. We'll do this here too and write the same thing. And the same thing here. Now we're going to do this process here for a minute and a half. This will help us enable a function that will automatically synchronize our accounts with the method we're going to use. This will give us access to recover our account. Device recovery without needing a PC. A completely easy and fast method without a PC. For those who also want to try other completely different methods. Additional methods are listed in the video description and in the first pinned comment. We've included other updated methods. A method using a PC and a different method. Without a PC. You can find the different method without a PC. In the video description and in the first pinned comment. Having said all that, after that minute and a half, let's wait. Now that we've passed that minute and a half. Go back to the start menu. We're going to apply the first recovery process for our device. This would be one of the easiest ways. And be careful to do it. Come on, we're almost there. This will help us enable a function where we can access and recover our device. Okay, now let's go back to the start menu. We'll go to accessibility. Select tall back, enable tall back, edit tall back. Double click on this option and then click here, these options. We click on finish, we click here on deny. We deny this option, we're going to double click here, then we go back. We go back, we click on start. We're going to click on start, now we click on next. We're going to select manual here, here we're going to select the following. Pay close attention to what we're going to do. We're going to click here where it says add new network. Now we click on the gear icon, we're going to click on what says reset. We're going to reset these four options that appear here, we're going to reset. We reset and in this last one we delete the cache. We've already done all this, now what we need to do is restart our device. We're going to restart it to then complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you don't miss any details and you can solve the recovery of your device in an easy and fast way. As we told you in this video tutorial we are not going to use the PC. This would be a completely PC free method. Okay, let's wait for it to start. As we mentioned in this video tutorial, we've also included other videos in the video description and in the first pinned comment. We'll be sharing other completely different updated methods where you can access and recover these devices. What are we going to do? We're going to click here on start. Select start and then click here. On add, we'll select the option to add and access our device using a QR code. What do we need? We need another device where we'll add a new screen lock. We need to have a screen lock. 
a normal screen lock, we also need to. Well, we're going to recharge, connect to the internet, and have a network. We also need a Google account. Okay, we have the Google account. Here we have our email address. This same email address we have here. We're going to sync it. On this device. Our email and screen lock. LL also sync. Both of these options will automatically sync by scanning this QR code. How do we scan it? Well, we'll go to Google. This little camera icon will appear. We'll click on it. We'll grant all the permissions it requests. Here we have the option to sign in. We'll select this option to sign in. Now, we need to add our fingerprint or password. It doesn't matter, the configuration will be the same for both to sync. Now both the screen lock and the Google account will be synced. We'll enter it, we're going to enter everything. Now what we're going to do is wait until we can access your device. Now we wait, we're going to wait to be able to restart it here. We press the volume up button. Sorry, the volume up button and the power button. At the same time until our device restarts. We'll restart it. We get here to where it gives us the option that says, don't copy. We're going to get to this point. Now what we have to do is make sure our device restarts completely. When our device restarts completely, that's when the Google account will be added. Here it will show us that the account was added successfully. When we see that option that our account was added, it's because the video tutorial was successful. That's why it's always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you don't miss any details and you can solve and recover your device this way easily and quickly. Let's wait for it to start. Now we click here on start. We click on start, we're going to click here on add. Then it will take us directly to where it will give us the option to create, add. And enter a Google account, it will give you three options, you can add one. Sorry, 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 that won't come out, I was wrong, that won't come out. The option that will come out shows that the Google account was added. Successfully, the Google account was added here. When we see that the Google account was added, we click. Next. This takes us to this option. First, we're going to click here where it says, don't copy. We're going to click here. Where it says, skip. We click skip. This takes us to, Google services. Here it shows the Google account. We're going to click more. We click OK. This takes us back to this option now we're going to click skip we click skip we click skip again we we're going to wait a few seconds until it takes us here we select these small letters that appear here we click here on the blue letters we click skip we click skip again here we're going to click here on add we click add, here we click next and we're in the last steps. Here we are in the final step where we're going to finish this video tutorial. When it takes us to the home page, we're going to go to the home page. It takes us directly to the home page. We'll be able to see where it will show us our Google account that was added. It won't ask for the password, but it 
will show us that the account was successfully added. Here it shows us that the account is already added. Now all we have to do is add the password so we can use our device easily and quickly.